And I think it's we, we mentioned Trek, and I think uh, we'd be kind of in, insane to get our, our just our general thoughts on on them not letting um, uh, uh, Richardson run oh, in yeah. the Olympics this this coming up time uh, for um, what's a marijuana test yeah. or you know positive weed test uh, reportedly supposedly. So yeah. Um, yeah, no, I just want to. Um, we didn't exactly talk about this, but I'm sure I'm sure um, we both have uh, strong feelings on on, on that on this. So. You know, yeah. that's just kind of two cents on, on this. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, I can, I can kick things off. I mean, I think I definitely feel horrible for her, um, you know, hear about how, I mean, that was around the time when her mother had just passed. Um, so she was kind of trying to self-medicate, do whatever she needed to do to get herself through that situation, still get herself through that situation, um, working through that situation now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so unfortunate because it's just one of those things where, you know, we, the world is finally starting to understand, like, marijuana and how it does, like, pretty much literally no harm. It's never done any harm to anybody. Um, so it's it's tough in that regard that it's still, they're still testing for it. Um, but it is also, in a, you know, I guess my thing on it is, you know, it's just one of those tough situations, like, you know what they test for, you know you're going to be drug tested while being in the Olympics. Um, you know, it's, Kind of wish you didn't have to go that route, you know, and smoke, but life happens. People make mistakes. Um, I like how she just, you know, did what the Olympics told her to do. They found out she tested positive, you know, met all those criteria, came out and apologized, just kind of talked to what she was going through. But definitely was it was it was it was kind of hard to just see that happen, especially when she ran what she did and just seeing her in the stands, hugging her grandma and everything, just a real good story. It just came to a halt. In like a matter of like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I agree and agree in the second a lot of what you said. I think, um, you know, as a person who loves track and and kind of uh, you know seeks out and wants to, uh, literally two or three months ago, I was talking uh, to uh, Julian, my brother, and my dad about track, and I said, well, you know, who who are the new stars that we're going to look about? And we literally found a couple people on YouTube, and she was one of the first people we came across. Wow, it was kind of crazy that full circle in literally three or four months she went from that to sports center tweeting her every day her her um you know having uh you know beginning a superstardom to being yeah. ripped under her uh you know from under all in all in a very short time span and you know it's if you think about if she was a professional basketball player or a football player or WNBA or whatever the case may be she would probably be suspended maybe would well, not even in the NBA anymore they don't test but you would probably be a, a slap on the wrist, um, you know. First offense. Uh, yep, yep, and then get let play. And that would be for something that you, where you're playing 80 times a, a year, not something that comes around once every four years. So, you know, when you think about just how serious of it is for her that this is all she's wanted probably for the last eight, ten years, all she's been training for for four years. Yeah. And you're going to take it from her for – for something that's not as serious as, um, as you know, and I'm sure there's going to be um, down the line, we're going to hear about random athletes throughout these games testing positive for steroids yep. and other painkillers and, and yeah. things like that. That are things that are much more serious. Um, so I just kind of, I, I just think it's, it's, it's harsh, extremely harsh and over the top when you consider that, um, as an athlete with such a short window as far as Olympic sports, if you if she's 21 now, she won't get it, a chance to do it again until you're 25. And then by the time you're 29, you could really be timed out and probably too old. Yeah. So, you know, you're really, you're taking half of her Olympic career away from her uh, for this. I just think it's tough. Yeah, no, I, no, I agree with you. It's real tough. I mean, it's, I, you know, I just look forward to the day that the where the world just stops just you know, having marijuana be so try to treat it as something that's so detrimental or like, you know, it's there's I don't think there's any more punishment needed or that should be uh, around marijuana at all. Like that should just be anything, any punishment around marijuana. I mean, even come from like a sports perspective, I guess, like you said before, you know, uh, just about the pills and all the other painkillers that athletes take or like steroids. I mean, it was so crazy. There's a point in time where some of these sports would be pushing opioids and painkillers and Vicodin and Norco, all those on players 
cortisone shots, but then we'll be trying to suspend them for, you know, six six games, whole seasons. Like, I mean, Josh Gordon been going through that, you know, for so long. Um, yeah. It's just like, when is it going to stop? You know, like marijuana, we, we have all the research in the world. You know, people are now, ironically, some of these individuals that call some of these shots probably have stock or stake in some of these companies that, you know, uh, like these dispensers, you know, have dispensers, things along those lines are probably, they probably smoke it themselves. So it's, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, and hopefully in due time, um, it'll stop, uh, it'll stop uh, testing for it. You know, the Olympics is a whole different ball game. I don't even know really some of the rules that they have. I mean, they've been very strict on a lot of different things um, regarding the Olympics already this year. Um, so it's not very, not very surprising. I, I doubt they'll stop testing for it anytime soon. But, no, I, I agree. I agree. I just, I just, um, I hate to see it from, from, uh, probably what would have been a birth of, uh, one of the bigger, uh, U.S. Olympic stars. Uh, yeah. 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 No, that's it's just about, it's about trying to bring a country together. That'd be, you know, seeing her, you know, first place, 100 meter dash. First place, 200. First place, 200, bringing up the, you know, fourth leg, four by one. Yeah. I see that. I seen a, a tweet that said, um, I don't know who said it, but I seen a tweet that said, uh, well, you just gave Jamaica the gold medal. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, I agree. Um, no, I just want to kind of get our two cents on that. I thought that was an important topic. Um, yeah. something that we should kind of, you know, just relay our general message on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, so. Absolutely. So yeah. Um, that's all we got for you all today. Yeah, short one. Playoff uh, finals, finals approaching us here. Yeah, uh, we're gonna get some Olympic talk in football around the corner. Yeah, and, uh, we got a, a heavy slate here coming in. Yeah, definitely gonna be you know Michigan football. Definitely will do some Michigan sports based stuff. Football, um, NFL football, college football. We'll touch. We'll touch all the bases for sure before we head out. What uh, what are you thinking for the series? I'm gonna go Suns and six. I like that. Um, I like I like yeah Suns and six. Um, if Giannis come, if Giannis is a little more healthy than we think, um, you know maybe Suns and seven. I, I just yeah. think they're gonna take care of business either way. Uh, yeah. Too much firepower. I agree. I agree. And I think I think Giannis like Middleton and Holiday looked a lot better when he wasn't on the court. So, I hate to say it, but like when he gets out there, sometimes I feel like it's just like mm-hmm. four on five, give Giannis the ball, one on four. You know, I don't know the rhythm. The offense. Giannis is a great player. I love. I love Giannis. I'm root. I root for him. I just watching them. It, it, they do look like they're they struggle a little bit on offense when he's out there. But we'll see. Yeah, big. Yeah. I agree. I mean, so, you know, sometimes those players they just uh, they soak up so much of the energy. You know, they soak up so much. Uh, you know, everything has to revolve around them in order for them to do what they do so great. Yep. And it kind of takes away. But yeah. Yeah. No, they don't. I think it would be a great series, though, for sure. 100%. 100%. Well, yeah, uh, thanks, guys, for your time. Uh, we'll be right back with you next week. Sure. Please. Peace out.